Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson men's soccer head coach Graham Miller. And coach, you guys finished up the regular season last last week, two games on the road against Alvernia and third ranked Messiah. Let's recap those games. Yeah, we um, you know, we we were going into the Alvernia game, you know, we talked about it last week uh, that we still had a, you know, opportunity to make the playoffs. Um, for the first time in our you know school history in the MAC, um, and we we didn't quite get there. Obviously, we you know we didn't uh, perform to the level that I know we can that we have done this year. Uh, it was a little bit of a letdown to you know come away from that Alvernia game that you know we we had an opportunity to make the playoffs and we didn't quite perform. And then obviously going into Messiah, you know the number three in the country for a reason. They're um, you know very good team, uh, very technical team. But you know after we we went down early to them, we actually played some of our best soccer and kind of matched them. It was only seven shots to four in the first half and you know but they had a 2-0 lead and you know that's that's why they're so good they take their chances and we didn't you know we had some opportunities and didn't take them and um and and you know so we, we can take a lot out of last week yes we didn't quite have the intensity against alvernia we did put a good you know a, a, a good performance in against messiah who are going to be a team that we're going to have to you know get up to their level if we're going to win the conference in the future yeah and just recapping the season it not the record you might have won it but your guys never never hung their heads. They never gave up. Uh, what was it about this team this year that kept they just kept pushing. Yeah, and, and that was the thing we talked about. You know, every game we were in, you know, there was some games we didn't quite, you know, live up to it and the score lines got away from us in the last 10 minutes. And that was more down to depth, you know, because we didn't have the depth on the team um, that we that we need to have if we're going to compete with these best teams in the country. Um, so f a lot of positives. Yes, we didn't quite get the results. You know, it, it was our first, we did win over Hood, our first time over them since I think like 2013 or 14. Um, so we put ourselves in a position that we, we had an opportunity to be in the playoffs in the last week of the season which was what we wanted to do we didn't want to be out of it out of the mix we could have been after that first loss to Albright but the guys kept battling and that's down to you know the senior leadership um, you know great seniors and you know and I thought the freshman class you know so you know two classes that really stood out this year you know our seniors who have been through a lot over the last three years and three different coaches uh, you know they really were positive they drove the team on and this freshman class came in and, and, and really did some great things and you know um, um, you know, I'm very proud of them, and, and there's a lot of hope for the future. Yeah, speaking of that freshman class, Tarek Lee was named the Mac Commonwealth Rookie of the Year as well as earning second team honors. Talk about his performance on the on the field this year. Yeah, and, and you know, Tarek stood out right away when we saw him in preseason, and, and uh, you know, he's a he's a good kid, quiet kid, um, but he works so hard, and, and, and he's going to get better. You know, this is the start of things to come, I think, for Tarek, and, um, you know, I expect more accolades in the future because he has the potential to, to be an All-American one day with the, with his talent that he has, and, and I hope he will, you know, take this as the start, and, and it will motivate him to keep going further, and we and, and with Tarek and and you know he he obviously like like any individual award it's down to obviously the players that are pushing him in practice the the, the players that are giving him assists in the game to, to get those game winners and um, you know he he's I, I know he would be very appreciative of his teammates for getting this award and um, you know he he just had a great season as a, as a freshman and I think some other freshmen really stood out as well um, you know I was hoping Dylan Hawley for his play as center back would have got some recognition um, but if you look across the board at the th at the teams that um, you you know, that were nominated um, and, and selected, you know, Messiah and like Homing kind of dominate and there's a lot of seniors and juniors on their roster. So, you know, for us to get Tarek in there, uh, you know, shows, you know, it's our first major award um, in the MAC um, for men's soccer. So it's definitely something for us, um, for the program. It's a, it's, a, it's a huge positive for us. Well, Coach, we thank you for taking time out every week to be here with us. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing it again next year. So wish you the best of luck all summer long recruiting and in the spring season. Yeah, well, it was a, my pleasure, Sam. You know, I like coming on these. I know our recruits like it, our players like it. And, uh, you know, we're, yeah, that says we're going to start recruiting. And, and hopefully some recruits are seeing this and, and uh, you know, seeing that we had a rookie of the year. And, uh, you know, things are looking up for this program. And, and we're excited for next year already. And we're going to start working on that. And, and recruiting is going to be huge for us over the next uh, coming months. And, um, you know, we're excited. But thank you for doing these shows. I always appreciate it. My pleasure. For Coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been The Graham Miller Show.